<laughs> this is me right now. I'm, I'm hanging out with my soul right now. You know, I don't need to be hanging out with yours right now because what if yours is dirty? You know what I mean? Let's scrub with those bubbles. You know, cleanse that soul. You know, no 30 Hail Marys or anything is going to really scrub your soul other than like reflection and really like forgiving yourself and stop harming people because you're harmed. Stop hurting because you're hurting and stop ignoring people because people are ignoring you. It's just that simple. Like as much as it hurts me to say that I have been compromising myself and my standards, but at the same time here I am trying to do everything that I can so I can move forward because later in life they can't say, well, did you go to this group and knock on that door? If you say, no, I did not participate or try to participate or attempt to participate, then they can't say, oh, well then. You know, you didn't attempt to participate, so you can't participate with us. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not like that. But at least I actually went the extra mile, and I participated, attempted to participate, and further wanted to participate, and put in blood, sweat, and tears, you know, and crinkle toes in stockings. That was just me being extra dramatic, not like it matters. You know what I mean? So, like, that's how I know what I know that I know, you know? <laughs> Duh! And I'm grateful because that means I need to focus my energies on really getting into RuPaul season 12 or RuPaul season 13 because season 11 was a flop and as it is like my makeup really needs to get on point and I really need to like clean my shit together like for real I'm a messy girl I need to not be so sloppy and that's what it is I've been sloppy with my emotions I've been sloppy with my thoughts I've been sloppy with everything because I'm an Aquarius and I'm kind of messy but I'm not blaming that on anything but when you you know when you play with water you don't stay dry <laughs> duh like, tell me anybody who plays with water and can stay dry. Even when you're wearing dish gloves, people, okay, you still got wet. Don't tell me. Because I know sometimes I have like those wrinkled fingers after washing dishes. And I'm like, but I just wear gloves, you know? And I know you know what I know you know, right? I'm just saying. Hashtag just saying. Because they say that it takes 28 days to get over like a habit. For example, if you change your like flatware from drawer to a different drawer in your kitchen, for about 28 days, if you don't pay attention cognitively, you will still go to the drawer that initially had your flatware, even though you were very well aware and cognizant of the fact that you put your flatware in a different drawer because your brain hasn't adapted and it takes about 28 days. And if you don't believe me, try it out. And I can tell you it's tried and true too because when I worked at Starbucks, which is a whole other video on why I don't work at Starbucks, but when I worked at Starbucks for 14 years, I noticed there was a lot of 15 kind of, really, if you think about it. And I can tell you change was constant. And that's not a thing I'm resistant to at all. I'm not resistant to change. But I will tell you it's a big mind fuck when you're constantly changing shit. Like the Java chips go here. No, now they're going to go here. No, now they're going to go here. And this is the spoon that goes here. No, that's the lid that goes like, where is it going to go? Like how many more machines do you want to add to the counter space? Like really? So I'm just like, you know, we're just going to, and then you'd always go here for the matcha, but oh, the matcha is still over here, but I was so used to it. Right, but then they added the machine. It's like, hello? Like, where's the signage that says, don't forget it doesn't, you know what I mean? Like, your brain is responsible. <laughs> so believe me, I'm totally cool with the change. Over it. Hashtag, whatever. I don't need to put myself out there like that. I like, I always had a slow go that was like, I don't solicit myself, just meet me when you can. And by the way, for those of you who are just tuning in and don't get what the fact that slow go is, slow go is slogan and logo. And I made it into one. I birthed a child, it's called slow go. Hashtag slow go. Use it in your everyday life, right? You kind of have to. <gasps> I'm not wearing my slow go. Hold on. We need a slow go. There we go. Our slow go. This is what I call the Akeska. This is my symbol. It represents authenticity and renewal. So you are always authentic and renewed. This is also my um, slogo for my psychic tarot readings. You may also notice it is my watermark in my YouTube videos in that corner right over there. Well, thanks for watching. How fun. That was really like, that was really happy. What I love about Real Feels with Erica Hila is that I can take this wherever I want to. I have so many adventures that I can't wait to share with you that I've already like started to go into editing from the Smile Direct Club to a reaction video of my drag queen performance. I'm just so excited. I hope you're subscribed and you're just as excited as I am to tune in and join in and watch Real Feels with Erica Hila here on YouTube, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Till next time. Keep it real and always feel.